Hi, welcome back to the Manhattan Project. Uh, if you watched the last episode, I made uh, three Jack and Cokes uh, using the classic black label. I used this uh, single barrel select and then an American single malt, all made by Jack Daniels. Uh, since I have already dirtied up a bunch of glasses and I have ice, I have everything I need to make a Manhattan, I decided to go ahead and shoot this episode with the uh, single barrel select. Uh, of course, Jack Daniels is considered a uh, Tennessee whiskey, which is a story in itself, made out of Lynchburg, Tennessee. And this one is 94 proof. So let's make a Manhattan. Let's do it. Yeah, so this bottle has been on the shelf for a little while. This was uh, donated to us by <coughs> Pfeiffer's Craft House, <coughs> excuse me, in uh, Pasadena, Maryland. That's a uh, favorite liquor store of ours. Uh, it's also a restaurant and watering hole. So, uh, They've been good friends to the show, Aww. so thank you guys. Uh, as you know, a may or may not know, a Manhattan is made with uh, two parts whiskey, uh, one part sweet Italian vermouth, in this case Martini Rossi, and then uh, normally we use four dashes, but this is three dashes because it comes out really quick. And then a cherry garnish on top of that. So, so once you get all this combined, I'm doing this a little backwards. I'm building it in the glass, then I'm going to transfer it over to the uh, stirring glass. Not by design, but because I forgot. Idiot! All right, so stir for 30 seconds. Check out this laser engraved bottle. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's got the Pfeiffer's Craft House on one side. And then a nice Maryland crab on the other. Yeah, this uh, liquor store, they have uh, bottle engraving events quite often. And we're going to call that 30 seconds right about now. Yeah, so the uh, American single malt that uh, was also in the last episode, um, I'm going to save making that in a Manhattan until Jesse and I can sync back up because that was a that was a gift from his uh, his good friend Brian and I didn't want to do that without him so so after all the stirring and all we strain it into in this case a rocks glass the traditional glass would be a coupe and as always we like the bada bing cherries because they are very good, not overly sweet, and not overly expensive. So that's that. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Select. Cheers. What we what we found is typically speaking, the bourbons need to be a higher proof to kind of cut through the vermouth and become a well balanced cocktail. So I'm going to say this is this is good. It's just not great. On the high side, probably a seven but more like a 6.5, but um, I'm gonna stick with a seven for today because it is still a, a well-balanced Manhattan. It's just not, it's not blowing me away by any means. So, no, 6.5. Make up your mind. Again, if we had done this episode early on, this would be a much higher score, but we've rated some dynamite Manhattans and this really just isn't one of them. Um, I'm gonna put this as a, uh, more of a sipper. Um, instead of a, uh, a mixer in a Manhattan. So, yeah, 6.5, Jack Daniels, single barrel select. Cheers. Ah, oh, would you look at that sunset? <laughs>